Reflection, June 17, 2019, God's Fulfilling Promises. Isaiah 55, 10 and 11, the watch read for today. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return there until they have watered the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty. But it shall accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. Isaiah 55 is a beautiful invitation from God to come experience abundant life, free of cost to us, but costing God everything. In today's text, God paints a wonderful metaphor which portrays the providence of God. Water like rain and snow is coming down from heaven, fully under God's control. Before the water evaporates and returns to the hands of God, it waters the earth and causes it to sprout forth all kinds of plants, and it brings forth seed for the sower and bread for the eater. The spiritual implications of water, seed, the sower, bread and the eater are deep in the text in other passages of the bible water represents the gospel that flows like water from those whom god has saved and sent out to preach the gospel such an evangelist is compared to a sower who sows seed into a field according to matthew 13. the seed represents the word of god and it provides bread for the eater when someone hears the preaching of the gospel and becomes saved, he or she becomes an eater of the word. The Bible is the word of God and it provides the bread of life for those who partake of it. God declares that his word shall not return to him empty, but shall succeed or accomplish the thing for which it was sent. Whatever God says stands and his purposes must be accomplished. God's greatest plan is the salvation of souls, so that we share in his kingdom and be accorded citizenship in heaven. This is the ultimate purpose of the word of God and the preaching of the gospel. Yet, our salvation is not one that we can work for or simply desire. It is all the work of God. While we are required to confess our sins, repent and surrender our lives to God, salvation is the work of Christ, and sanctification the work of the Holy Spirit. Such salvation is experienced through the grace and mercy of God. It is important to remember that the invitation to the thirsty to come and drink is not a one-off invitation. It, a, it is a continuous welcoming to feast in the water of life. Many times we go through the wilderness and parched land experiences, the droughts and dry periods, the barren lands and broken heart and spirits. We need water to quench our thirsty souls, to refill, renew, and revive us. Yet, even as we seek and walk with God, we have to feed on his word 
for spiritual nourishment. We have to progress from baby food, milk, to heart food as we pursue spiritual growth and maturity for the sake of Jesus Christ. Until next week, remember that what God speaks, he brings to pass. And what he purposes, he most certainly fulfills. Amen. Give me water